Let's take you to the camp of the new patriotic party because its flag bearer, Dr. Balmia, says his policies are designed to address the issues of illegal mining or galamse. Dr. Balmia, who argues that merely chasing illegal miners is unsustainable, plans to implement measures to prevent such activities. There's more in this report. Dr. Baumia made these remarks while campaigning in the Konkatamansu constituency. He also campaigned in the Ashaman and Crowell constituencies. During his visits, he met with chiefs, pastors, imams, and business owners in all three constituencies. In Konkatamansu and Ashaman, Dr. Baumia visited the Pung and Zenu markets, respectively, to engage with traders despite the rain. During the tours, Dr. Baumia discussed the ongoing issue of illegal mining. He assured Guineans that his policies will focus on preventing illegal mining activities. We are trying to always chase people, but we are not trying to prevent it happening in the first place. So one needs to look at the whole regime of small-scale mining and sanitize that regime, regularize the regime, Make sure that we, we, the Geological Survey, the authority of Ghana, number one, does the mapping for where all the gold reserves are. At the moment, people are just doing trial and error, destroying our environment. There is no data backing where they go. They just go and dig, they don't find, they go to the next place and start digging, they don't find, they go to the next place. But I want us to set up community mining schemes with certainty from the geological survey department that here you have gold. In that case, we can make sure that those who are mining there are regularized. We bring in these um, gold catcher mach machines that don't use mercury and make sure that they, can, they are not in water bodies. So we direct them and license them into areas so that they, re, they do responsible mining, environmentally sustainable mining. That is the way you stop this. Dr. Baumia concluded Tuesday's campaign with a tour of the Crow constituency, where he held a stakeholder engagement in the Community Connect event.